The talk of the town is that Nikon is releasing the new Z8. A 61 megapixel camera ready to battle with the Sony A7R4 head to head. But that's not all, as Nikon Z8 is also rumored to pack an incredible 240 megapixels high res mode. So, what else do the rumors whisper? Find out in today's video on the Nikon Z8. Back in 2021, rumors whispered of a 61 megapixel camera from Nikon, the Z8. But with the pandemic and the chip shortage that followed soon, the camera was delayed till 2022. With all the buzzes and news, it seems like we just might see the camera in all its beauty this year. It seems like Nikon has buckled down in the R&D department, designing a flagship camera, namely the Z8, as a response to Sony A7R4. So, the Sony A7R4 uses a 61 megapixels 35mm full frame back illuminated CMOS sensor. While the name is a mouthful, the new Exmor R CMOS image sensor packs a lot. Since it's back illuminated, you're getting higher sensitivity, lower noise, and the sharpest pictures in 61 megapixels. It seems Nikon has already signed up to purchase this new sensor, so it's safe to assume that we will get a camera with a back illuminated sensor high sensitivity and better low light performance. Does that mean we're also getting a 61 megapixel flagship from Nikon? Well, not really. According to new camera, there are two prototypes in the lab, a 45 and a 61 megapixel camera. Some whispers also suggest that Nikon is testing more than two cameras. With such wild rumors but no official teaser trailer, there's no telling what you might get. It's basically the box of the chocolate situation all over again. Now about its body, rumors say we might get an improved stabilization, an ISO range from 64 to 25,600, which can be pushed to 32 to 102,400. With such sky-high ISO numbers, it really makes you wonder if ISO is a gimmick or not. Then there are the dual CF Express memory card slots. Given how every camera has these, it's only natural that Nikon will incorporate that too. After all, it would be a shame if you lost all those crystal clear photos because your memory card could not keep up. The cherry on top is that the Z8 might ship with a high res mode, granting you the power to shoot at 240 megapixels. This rumor sounds too good to be true, fingers crossed nonetheless. It's a wonder how they're going to achieve this, stacked sensors maybe? Wishes aside. All these features will generate considerable heat, and Nikon has already taken steps to prevent that. They have recently registered design patterns, which suggest a bigger body than the Z6 or the Z7. Hopefully, the larger body will be enough for heat dissipation, because the last thing anyone wants is a baller camera that can only record for a few minutes. If Nikon actually ships the Z8 with these features, it will surely shake up the camera industry. So. It's definitely worth the wait to see what Nikon Z8 packs. So, that's the scoop about the Nikon Z8. Very interesting to say the least. We eagerly wait to hear any official news about this beast of a camera, but we want to hear from you as well. What do you think about the Nikon Z8? Let us know in the comment section below.